hello guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make use of the is light tool for your interior lighting let's get to it all right here we are back into the sketchup scene i just have this simple room well i just have this simple room that i just modeled out and i use assets from chaos cosmos I've switched to very 5 so it's been really handy in making quick scenes really really quick i uh, just modeled it as you can see here just a simple white box and i just added the stucco paints generic material the only non very associated item is this light i added here so i just added the mesh light here so we can start with the illumination all from scratch and then is lights what is an is light so an is light is simply stands for illuminating engineering society it's a standard file format that was a little bit of grammar but it's just basically being able to simulate real life lighting from different lighting brands or different lighting conditions or different lighting fixtures in your 3d software which is actually really nice as you can see they always have these cool shapes that people love as you can see in the thumbnail again and you can see in all these examples they always have these cool shapes that people love and they really look good in 3ds and also in real life okay so let's get into adding the light right now so like I said, I have a mesh light which is here in my asset editor. As you can see, this box here is the mesh light on this white uh, bulb I'll see on this light. I just give it an intensity of 50 and I made it white. So I'm just going to do a quick render to just show you what it looks like and to show you where our source of light is going to be coming from and also the sunlight as well. Okay, our light catch is just about building up and we're not really going to take too much time on this. I also wanted to show you guys that, okay, this is where we're expecting to see our IS light. As you can see now, the mesh light is the only light active on this bulb. So I'm simply going to apply an IS light to this. So let me stop this right now. And if you look over here on your V-Ray toolbar, you're going to notice a couple of lights here. In the V-Ray 5, if you're using that, you have light gen over here. You have rectangle lights, sphere lights, spotlight, omni lights, dome, dome lights, and then you have the IS light, which is this circle with three lines over here. So when you click that, all you need to do is before you use an IS light, you need to have an IS file, which is a file that contains the information on the light that you want to use. Very, very easy to access file. And I got mine from uh, Leo Moon Studios. Yeah, Leo Moon Studios. So these are the is lights i'm going to be using today they have a light pack on their website the link is in the description below as you can see they really have really cool lights and you can see the drop down effect that they have here which i really really love so i'm going to have a lot of fun with this pack if you want this pack you can just simply check the link in the description below and also don't forget to also show your support to them and because it's a free download so your support means a lot to them as well and i think i've got downloaded this already so i'm going to just use that in my file so i'll just simply yeah the moon.com is pack okay then there are a couple here that they already have for download and you can see there are a couple here with their images so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just select one of them the one that i like the best from my previous tests you can see the names are really based on their shape. I'm going to use this three lobe V. Yeah, three lobe V. And then after selecting that, you are tasked on SketchUp to pick a point where you want the IS light to be. So you can see now my mouse, which is black, now has the IS that is a gold sign beside it. So I'm simply going to click where I want this IS light to be placed. I'm going to click just over this light here. All right, and then we will add this IES drop light to my model. And if I go to my asset editor here, I now have the IES light over here. And then we can clearly see what the IES light looks like over here. And then in the parameters, you can change the color, you can change the intensity, you can change the light file, which is the file that we selected from the download of the Leomon Studios. And then you can also change the shape. So now if I want to change the file, I can just change it from different uh ones in the available in the pack if i pick cylinder narrow i'm going to see this is cylinder narrow if i pick um overhead I'm going to see overhead 
but I think we're going to stick with that three lobe V. That seems to be my favorite right now. Three lobe V. It's a more direct light, so we're going to see that drop down effect onto our couch. And then here we have the intensity. We can simply increase that based on your render. If your render, if the light is a bit too dark, you can increase the intensity. And then the shape determines the shape of the light when calculating soft shadows. I normally don't touch this, but I prefer the IS light to calculate that on its own. Normally, it just means that as this light is casting on this couch, any soft shadow is creating, it will be dependent on either the IS file or the point where you put the light or a circle that is above this or a sphere. So I just prefer to leave it out from IS file just for default. And then we're going to do a quick progressive render to just see what this looks like. Now, as you notice, we can't really tell if it's the IS or the mesh light that is actually lighting up this scene. But we can see there's a little bit of light hitting the couch over here, apart from this sunlight. So we're going to just start a region render. We just want only this area to be rendered. I'm going to render just where this light is. So I'm going to see the effect. And then we're going to pump up the intensity of our IS light greatly. You can see you have minimum one, max, a trillion or a quadrillion. I don't really know. But I'm going to take this up to most IS lights I find in my test, they brighten up the scenes from about 30 to 35,000 lumens. I know that's a really large number, but depending on your exposure settings in your camera, it will all be dependent on that. And then it's very five. You can simply just use your light mix and do that. Let me know if you guys want to a tutorial on light mix because that is a really, really great one. I know a lot of guys would love to see that one. So I've increased this to 35,000. I'm going to turn off this mesh light so I won't have any distractions of knowing which one is the IS or the mesh light. And I'm also going to turn off the sunlight as well. So we just have only the mesh lights lighting up our scene. I'm going to hit the interactive render. Okay, progressive render is starting and we can clearly see our IS light right now. I really love this shape. This is my favorite. If you guys download the pack and you render a lot, let me know which one is your favorite because I really love this. It's pretty, pretty cool down light. You can use it for your interior renders, either museums or living room like this. And I really love it. I'm going to increase the intensity one more time. You know, you can really have fun with this. Let me take this up to 65. And I'm going to turn on the mesh light because I really want that source of light to be in this uh, down light. It's a trick actually to just put a light here so that you can actually show that that's the light that is emitting but it's all a trick. And I'm going to take this down to about 20 so it won't affect the remaining lights in the scene and then I guess this is what we're going to have now. Yeah and it looks really really good. I really really like the result that this is giving me. So I'm very sure if you follow all these steps correctly, you'll be able to replicate exactly what I have done in your renders. And you can also have fun with the settings. You are not limited to, but you're given the, every opportunity to have fun with these. Increase the color. You have options here. You can just have a lot of fun with this IS light. But that's basically how to use the IS light to light up your interior scenes. I really like this mode. It's almost like a nighttime mode. I can just change this to orange and then with the blue. It's going to really look really good. So. That brings us to the end of the video guys i hope you guys learned a lot from this uh it's been a while since i dropped the video i've been really busy pairing up design and um, youtube videos is really really tasking but i'm getting the hang of it eventually if you guys love this video just give this video a like please and also subscribe to this channel and this is, i help a lot of guys but they're not really subscribing to this so if this video comes out and they miss it that's on them but if you don't want to be missing future videos you can just hit that subscribe button below and then you guys should check me out on instagram because i'm really really active on instagram because i share a lot of works i'm doing things that are making me busy not enough to make youtube videos for you guys you can also check me out on instagram at ik inc link in the description below as it's here you can also connect with me there show me your progress i'd like to see what you guys are really doing how i'm helping you guys because that's really my aim to just help you guys get better at this and also you guys practice 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 I can't really say that enough. The more you practice, the better you get. And then any opportunity you have, practice. Just practice and be dedicated to this craft. It's difficult, but it's always easy on the long run. So, till the next one, I'll see you guys.